Hey, fellow devs, my name is Mott, that's M-O-T, and I'm the creator of .env. In this video, we're gonna show you what happens when you run the push command. Let's get to it. So I have a project here that has a me credential, a vault file, and my .env file, right, with some values in it. And I'm gonna run the command npx.mvault push. Before I do that, we can take a look at the project here in the UI, and you can see there's no secrets and just instructions to run the push command. When we run the push command, there's a lot that's going to happen actually under the hood. So step one, run the push command. Step two, that's going to be sent through an encrypted connection. Step three, .m servers are going to decrypt that. And step four, we're going to parse that .env file. Step five, we're going to pull out all the keys and values. We also pull out comments and blank lines as well to keep track of those so we can reformat your env file when you repull it in the format you like, uh, basically the format you sent. Um, but the key thing to remember here is the main thing we need to do is pull out those keys and values. Then we actually divide those up. So we take the key and the value and we separate them. Then the key gets encrypted, the value gets encrypted, Okay, and we use the AES GCM algorithm for that. And then step eight, we actually take the value, we put it in a separate, our .invault store, right? So it's separate from the application database. It gets put in there, a token comes back. So we tokenize it and we take that token and that gets passed to our application code and our application database. And that gets stored with the key in the application database, this tokenized lookup, and your secret is safe over in this extra secure vault store. And then you get a 201 back. And there's a few other things that happen after that. I'll show you those in a second, but let's just run all that. So we'll run dot vault push. Okay, great. It pushed to development. So let's take a look. Take a look here, refresh the page. Okay, we've got all our secrets in there, right? Um, and that's it. So those are all pushed in. I can see my values here, right? But these values are actually coming from the .mvault store, where these values are coming from our application database. This way, if an attacker got access to the application database, they wouldn't be able to put two and two together because they need the vault store for the secrets. So they actually need the vault store and the application database. And then they also need actually the, uh, some of the encryption keys that are used in the vault store to decrypt and make sense of that data. So there's three major things we have implemented to keep your secret safe. So that's it. Um, the other thing that happens a little bit after that is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we go ahead and populate or smart migrate your keys to your other environments. So all, everything you push up to development ends up also in production. It just doesn't end up with the values in there. We're going to make that configurable eventually. So if you push to development, those values could also go over to production. That's a little bit dangerous though, so that's gonna be an opt-in setting. For now, the setting is you push up a new key, that new key ends up across all your environments. So let's give that a shot. So I'll, I'll add a new key here with the value. Let's push that up. Okay, let's make sure that's in development. Okay, there it is the new key, All right? And so now we can take a look at CI, staging, production, and there's the new key there in production. So then in production, we can come in and set it. So maybe the production value is different and save those changes. And then also behind the scenes, uh, we get versioning. So when you're running that push command, we also had versions get created, right? And you need to be on a paid plan to see the full history, but you can see here there's a version two and then the version one, which was from that first push. So version two kept track that there's a new key and version one was all those initial keys. If you made a few different changes, it would still track that as one version for one push. So that's it. That's what happens when you run npx.mvault push. Thank you for watching.